Can I just take the customs union point? What, what was and is the problem from the government's point of view with a permanent customs union, given the position that the government has adopted throughout this process that you, well, it was friction-free and then it became as frictionless as possible trade? And yeah. given the Northern Ireland issue? <coughs> yes. Well, the Northern Ireland issue, um, of course, was part of the negotiation on the the withdrawal agreement, whereas the, the longer-term relationship over customs is something that was going to be part of the will, – will still need to be part of the uh, negotiations on the longer-term future partnership with the European Union. The, uh, the, the position that the government has taken, I think consistently on this, has been that uh, the drawback of a customs, full customs union with the EU is that it would, uh, first of all, stop us from having an independent trade policy, apropos third countries. S second, that it would, at least if it followed the, the precedent that has been set with the EU-Turkey Customs Union, oblige us on a, an unreciprocated basis to give preferential trade access to our markets to uh, uh, goods from countries with which the EU had negotiated a, a separate FTA, uh, um, excluding uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, and third, that there is, was an assumption, and I think this was, uh, I'm trying to be fair to the opposition position, this was in the Labour Party's position, that uh, we would also be bound by the common commercial policy of the European Union and that the EU would Conduct, nego conduct negotiations with third countries on our behalf. And, and I think, in fairness, I, I, I think I'm giving an accurate description of the opposition's position is that they said, well, we should be able to do that while crafting some mechanism for having a say in uh, how the EU negotiates with uh, those third countries.